This is June of June TV. Hi, today I'm going to pickle perilla leaves in a healthy way. It can be eaten in about 15 minutes. I will start right now. Anchovy, onion, green onion, peppers, garlic, kale, just a little honey. I will make the sauce first. Make sauce first and rinse perilla leaves while boiling sauce. Then you can eat right away. This way make the texture and scent of the perilla leaves is alive. And before cooking, please press subscribe and like. I will work harder. Well, the perilla leaves smells good and strong. In fact, in Korea, perilla leaves are eaten raw. But if it's marinated in too much strong sauce, in fact, there's no taste of a perilla leaf. The sauce part is, what do you call this? A uh, pot snout? <laughs> this is narrow and deep shape is good. Because we end up cooking the sauce. The large snout is the more evaporating and losing sauce. 2 cups of soy sauce. 1 cup is 200 milliliters. And I will put 2 cups of water. As I showed you last time, Oh, some of you have not seen it yet. This is a medium-sized anchovy for the broth. The anchovy is already roasted. I will put it into the pot directly. Nearly 20. I will put a lot of kelp. I'm going to brew the kelp from the start to finish because this is not light broth. This is soy sauce broth. I will put 8 cloves of garlic. You don't need to trim well garlic. Just crush it. Blow away your stress. <laughs> crush, crush, and chop moderately. Don't worry about it at all. I will put it in the saucepan. Cut the green onion moderately because it's just for broth. This much is okay. I will put one red pepper. Well, if you cut it, it's better for making broth. Two green hot peppers. Slice it roughly. It's also for broth. Please put it. I will put half an onion. Just slice roughly. To shorten the time to make broth, cut it like this. Now, I will put it in the sauce. I will add 2 tablespoons of sesame oil. The reason I put sesame oil is that it tastes a bit bitter. Look forward to it. Adding 2 tablespoons of vinegar. And now, I'm going to add a spoonful of honey. This much. And stir it up. It looks good, isn't it? I will boil it for 15 minutes. While boiling the sauce for 15 minutes, I will wash the perilla leaves one by one. After rinsing the perilla leaves, soak them like this. Put vinegar in here for about 5 minutes. Add 1 or 2 spoons of vinegar. The reason for doing this is that even the leaves are clean, if organic vegetables still have insects or, on the contrary, remain pesticides. Vinegar is also a solution. The sauce is boiling well. It's been 7 minutes since I put the vinegar in the perilla leaves. I will rinse this, then I will finish it. I will put the perilla leaves here. The sauce is done. I will turn off the heat and taste the sauce once. Well, it's salty and a little bit honey sweet. It's delicious. <laughs> Divide the perilla leaves in half and put them in the opposite direction. These are the vegetables I left behind. Put red and green pepper after slice them roughly. I will slice red pepper diagonally and put it in. Why? I put all ingredients when I made the sauce. But the raw fragrance of peppers and green onion have really different and good. Let's pour it. It's hot! So turn it over once now. 
I will turn it one more in five minutes. Now it's been five minutes. Please look. I will turn it over again. Is the perilla leaf seasoned well? <laughs> Good. How do you feel? Let's rest this. Another five minutes. Okay, it's five minutes. Let me see. I will taste it once. Wait, what flavor this taste? Well, it's good. <laughs> it would be great with cooked rice. After some time, I will prepare a table and dinner and enjoy it with you. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> the fragrance of perilla leaves is alive. Texture is alive. It's seasoned well and very good, even for 10 minutes. Oh, it's delicious. Make sure you also make it delicious. Keep it in the freezer and enjoy it always, please. <laughs> I will see you next time. Bye.